thanks for this opportunity. First of all, I'd like to apologize to Ben Lang that he invited me for the parade and I told him I cannot come. John Archer also, remember I didn't show up, right, at the parade. I did not show up at the parade. And John Archer wants me to sit down with him. I, didn't, I wasn't able to do that. I was at an autism event, a fundraising. I was in charge of feeding 150 people. And I have ordered cakes ahead of time. This was planned a month in advance. I was involved with the Lynn County Credential Team. Never miss a meeting. Never. Even if it's too cold. I didn't realize that they're going to do a district on that Saturday, last Saturday. I've always been involved in the, I've all, I was involved in the district uh, convention last time, but we were involved in the food. So there, it's not really like we have to travel. That was the old district convention. That was way, way long time ago at the Wilson School. So I was involved in that. And I, I have every intention to attend. I just didn't know that it's going to be this Saturday. And even if I knew that that was last Saturday, I have a word to these autistic kids. I told them that I'm going to be there to help out. In a, as a matter of fact, it was a good thing too. I was able to get four people to join the district convention that they want to be able to be, in, to, be, to be involved. This is the only thing. I've been involved in so many things in the Lynn County, from the gun show to the naturalization. And again, I'm telling the truth. Um, I, I'm not asking for your sympathy, people. I want to get as busy as, busy as I can. I try to help every candidate that I can. I have a credibility in most people here, except for the ones that, that, that's anti-Emma. I don't have credibility with them. I try to be busy because you know what? I don't really want to say this, but I guess I'm going to say this, not to ask for your sympathy. I wanted to get busy. Some of the people here knew about it. They found a lump on my left breast. Okay? And my doctor was saying, just take it, take it easy for the next two weeks. And I said, yes, I just want to get busy. Get myself busy with... I mean, I was at the county convention very early in the morning, 6.15 in the morning. You were there to help out. Because I don't want to think, think about my health. I want to be able to help Republicans get elected. I mean, I think we need to grow up and support and appreciate each other and work together for the common good, right? That's it. Thank you. Point of order. Okay, I, I would like um, to ask this action, whatever it is, and then and how the constitutionality of it can be <coughs> verified and established by the state constitution and the Republican Party of Iowa. That is the thing that's challenging the chair. Defamation, I'm not, that's not a, that's that not is a point, point of order. Okay. No. All right. No. That's not a motion because you can challenge the chair, and challenging the chair is not a motion. So it may not be a point of order, I'm not sure what it's called. But I, I would like to formally challenge the decision until we have had a chance to have it looked at virtually. Are, are you calling for a motion? I'm not calling for a motion. Okay. To challenge the chair is not a motion. Okay. What I'd like is a motion and, and, and stated as a motion that the chair is being challenged on this issue. So can we have, please have a parliamentary rule on this? Okay. I move that um, the chair is being challenged. Okay. Point of privilege. Yeah. I feel that these two people have done a tremendous job. They did a tremendous job at the Lynn County Convention. I feel that this is overkill and it is highly divisive. Republicans sometimes are known not to have a heart, and this is an example. We don't want to kill babies, but we want to treat people like garbage sometimes, and that's why the majority of the people don't like Republicans, because we do stuff like this. It is overkill. Are we, this, this is ridiculous. I'm not sure what the motion is right now, so as a point of privilege, I would like to hear from the people that uh, did 
did not get to represent us? Oh, that's right. We didn't send alternates. I'm sorry. So I hear compassion, and I hear what this body is saying. I have been in a very tough position like you are, Steve. What I understand the executives are saying is that these people will just be barred from running for these kind of offices for two years. I apologize to anybody that understands that this sounds cold-hearted, but the realities are very simple for our body. Well, thank you. If these people are going to run for these offices, we need to have that representation, or they have to have alternates. There is a motion on the floor to table the suspensions or table the reprimands, as, as I have written them, that were discussed in order at the executive committee level discussion. One point of information. Yes. Uh, doesn't tabling it in put it off forever unless you get two thirds of the vote to approve it to come back in? Yeah. And if that's the case, then I move that we do not table it. Because in essence, that's I think the, rid of it. I think the request was to suspend it. Yeah. It wasn't tabled. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Okay. Jim. Me? Yes. Yes. My name is Craig. Craig, I'm sorry, Craig. You know, we didn't do this right in the first place because we should have known that um, this possibility would have occurred, and so we should have nominated alternates also. So this is actually procedural problems, and it's actually our fault for not doing that. John Hable. Yes. Um, I, we heard from, from one person who said that they knew a month in advance that they were committed to something else this weekend. Yeah. I they know. should not have run for the position. Okay. The other person claimed about power issues and health issues. Uh, my question is, was that in effect the day of the election, or did that happen after the election? Okay. Because if it was in effect the day of the election, then maybe they should not have run as well. Well, so I'm being addressed. One moment. Don, Don has the floor. I'll come to you, Janet. But, um, Don, I'll just point you information. Was the date of the upcoming credential committee meeting known no. and yes. made, and made yes. public yes. before yes. the election was held? Yes, it was. Yes. 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 Yeah, David Schultz. Brent shared it. I believe it was announced at the convention time, the date and times, and it was in the, uh, I believe it was in the newspaper, if I'm not mistaken. What point of it? Right, one moment, Janice, Janice next. Excuse me, John. Janice. Okay, let me reiterate so you can make this clear. Yes, I knew that the committee was going to be held and that is why when the car arrangement fell through and I had less than 24 hours and it was less than, I don't know, 19 hours or whatever to try to arrange something, that is why I tried to arrange something. That is why I was planning the carpool. You've heard the call go out that certain people carpool, if you don't have a car, you'd like to take out a tank for various reasons. That's why people carpool. I had every intention of race and I had every intention of carpool. So let me say something. If this is a little exaggeration, but if someone were in a car accident on the way to a district meeting, would this kind of censure come? I mean, at what point do you call this not severe enough? Mm -hmm. So you use common sense not to put yourself in a, in a hazardous situation. I do not think calls for censure. If someone had a heart attack on the way, would you say, oh, you're barred for two years? Because no matter what, you didn't represent us. Mm -hmm. There are you're not barred. Man, point of clarification. We're not, a, we're not saying you can't participate. We're not saying you can't vote. All we're saying is you can't chair committees. That's all we're saying. You can still vote. You're still an elected precinct committee person at this uh, Jan, let me tell you something. I'm going to speak off the cuff here. I respect all the work you have done. Both of you. I don't know. Both of you have done a lot of work for the Republican Central Committee. But at some point, as chair, I want to be represented a district. All right, and I just think enough went on to get us represented at district. Now, I, I, I may be out of line here, but that's really how I feel. You did a lot of work on credentials. You did good work, and I appreciate that. That doesn't say that you don't represent us because you were elected by a group of 188 delegates that met at the clearing. 
Their voice needs to be heard also. So I'm, I'm not. I had a flat tire on the way there. I'm not going to go there. I'm simply not going to go there. there. John, there is a point of reason. Okay, we're yeah. we're in the point of reason, sir. And I'm going to take one more, and I'd like to move on. Dave Anderson. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. 